Cape Town-born Kimong Walahulere is laying rows of pencils on AstroTurf while ceramic dogs look on. It's part of a performance piece called The Grass is Always Greener on the Other Side. It centers on the life and death of anti-apartheid writer Nat Nakasa. Walahulere's work is one of more than 200 pieces on show featuring artists who opt for close views, small actions, and intimate public gestures. The idea of a public space in South Africa during apartheid was so regimented, was so highly controlled, and then you find that in post-apartheid South Africa there are similar challenges as well. From the activist posters and portraiture of Zanele Muhali to the 90 strong shame series by Penny Siopsis, these installations comment on sexual, economic, and racial politics. Recent video, paintings, prints, and publications are displayed alongside anti-apartheid photography. San Francisco Museum of Modern Art curator Dominic Wilsden says contemporary artists are preoccupied with similar themes to those working in the 60s and 70s. We saw almost like a similar sensibility a kind of lesser a focus on the large political questions of uh, you know, the fate of the country and more what you could call the small political questions of how people are with each other uh, just in, in ordinary life. So that idea of, of public intimacy, how, um, uh, you can, uh, how, how people are together and how that matters for what a country is became our main focus. Public intimacy also looks at how different communities cohabit. Bernie Seal's Black Smoke Rising trilogy explores a period when South Africans turned against immigrants from other parts of Africa. South African tourist Daniel Rimbaud says the exhibition is a realistic portrait of modern day South Africa. A lot of it is focused on major events, but some of it, like some of those portraits back there, are just the real people about going about their, real, their, their daily lives which is nice to see, I like it. Public intimacy coincides with the 20th anniversary of South Africa's first fully democratic elections. Organizers in San Francisco say the exhibition shows a deep parallel between the South African and American experiences, both countries with a history of a civil rights movement and a continuing struggle to overcome decades of racial segregation. Rachel Silverman, CCTV, San Francisco.